Have you ever wondered why some people can enjoy a fluffy piece of bread or a hearty bowl of pasta without experiencing discomfort or even severe health issues? Today, we're diving into the world of wheat allergy and celiac disease to understand what they are, their causes, symptoms, and available treatments. Wheat allergy and celiac disease, both linked to wheat consumption, are often misunderstood and confused. However, they are two distinct conditions with different triggers and mechanisms. Wheat allergy, as the name suggests, is an allergic reaction to proteins present in wheat. It's one of the most common food allergies in children, but adults can have it too. When a person with a wheat allergy ingests wheat, their immune system overreacts, leading to symptoms ranging from mild, such as hives and nausea, to severe like difficulty breathing and anaphylaxis, on the other hand, celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder. In this case, the body misinterprets gluten, a protein found in wheat, as a threat and attacks the small intestine. This can lead to various symptoms, including diarrhea, bloating, weight loss, and even damage to the intestinal lining. The causes of both wheat allergy and celiac disease are complex, involving a combination of genetic and environmental factors. For wheat allergy, a family history of allergies can increase the risk. For celiac disease, carrying certain genes can make one more susceptible, but the exact triggers are still unknown. Diagnosing these conditions can be challenging due to the wide range of symptoms. However, blood tests, skin prick tests, and intestinal biopsies can provide valuable information. And what about treatment? For wheat allergy, the primary treatment is a wheat-free diet. This involves avoiding foods that contain wheat, such as bread, pasta, and many processed foods. In addition, carrying an epinephrine auto-injector for emergency situations is often recommended. For celiac disease, the cornerstone of treatment is a strict gluten-free diet. This means avoiding all foods containing wheat, barley, and rye. It's important to know that while this diet can help manage symptoms and promote intestinal healing, it must be followed for life. In summary, wheat allergy and celiac disease are two different conditions triggered by wheat consumption. Wheat allergy is an overreaction of the immune system to wheat proteins, while celiac disease is an autoimmune disorder where the body attacks the small intestine in response to gluten. Both conditions can be managed with a diet free from the offending proteins, but understanding and diagnosing them can be complex due to the wide range of symptoms. So next time you see someone skipping the bread basket, remember, it's not always about watching the waistline. Sometimes it's a necessary step for health and well-being. And if you suspect you may have a wheat allergy or celiac disease, don't hesitate to consult with a healthcare professional. Your health is worth it.